hello everyone and welcome back to my channel um, this video is going to be my monthly recap for the um, crafty goals with Amalia um, we upload our videos every um, month on the first Saturday and those need to be up by 3 p.m. Um, and each um, month um, myself and my and the other participants we just kind of go through um, our goals that we have set for ourselves and um, kind of show what we did or did not um, achieve um, here is my notebook that I use to keep track of the different things that I would like to try and um, achieve um, I have like some crochet goals jewelry goals cross stitch um, using up my stash um, I've already surpassed this of kill four paper pads um, for the year. Um, for the card kits, I still need to work on that. But I do Christmas cards each month. Um, I've been doing really well with my goal for creating greeting cards each month. I have really built a great stash. And my I have an, um, a hope to possibly put together a video um, I might even try to add it into next month's goals where I will show kind of like a, just show all of the cards that I have um, kind of like my, my collection that I've been <laughs> creating I've been adding to um, this year throughout the goals the whole crafty goals thing I've really been creating a ton of, of greeting cards and for this category, the greeting cards, um, that basically is just anything that's not Christmas. So it can be like 3x3 three three note cards. It can be all the way up to 6x6 six six cards. So anything, 5x7 um, cards, anything that's not Christmas, um, I'm including in this just general category of greeting cards. Um, I have wanted to do at least one rack or happy mail. Um, once every three months um, I'll talk about that here and my organizing in my craft stash um, areas I have my jewelry supplies are in my bedroom as well as my cross stitch stuff um, all of my crochet supplies are in a little corner of my living room and then I have my craft room for all my paper crafting stuff so that organizing goal is to work in any of these areas of my stash um, I have a goal that I would like to make um, four albums or folios throughout the year. Um, I have a goal of five ATCs or more each month. Um, ten videos on my channel each month um, at least. And now I could change that to 11. Um, I should have changed it because I am in 11 collabs. So I will for sure get 11 each month on my channel um, I actually have a list of about four other videos that I have been meaning to get done I just need to do them um, so hopefully in October's recap video which would be the first Saturday of November hopefully that number is um, a lot higher than 11 um, and I was hoping to do at least two channel giveaways on my month uh, my channel which would be one every month I can't even talk one every six months um, I think I yes I'm at one on that right now and then I was hoping to participate in at least six um, of my fellow crafters challenges or like birthday challenges giveaways and subby challenges things like that um, so I'm really slacking in this right now I did one the very first month and I just need to get myself to send things in so let me go over this real fast um, for crochet I actually um, finished four projects this month which is good because you can see here May June July and August big zeros there um, I had to do a project for a swap um, one of my paper crafting groups I'm in we had this huge like mega summer swap um, extravaganza type thing and there were more than just paper type swaps there was just a whole bunch of different things to do like jewelry um crochet this was actually a crochet slash knit um 
swap. You just had to make one summery type item. And I did do a dishcloth and I also made three mini dishcloths. And I showed those, I showed at least two of them. I can't remember how many I had completed by the time I did my Pinspiration collaboration on the um, last Saturday of September um, because I did follow two different um, tutorials uh, for dishcloths that I had found on Pinterest. So I shared those links and they were like the easiest dishcloths I've ever created. And so anyone else out there that crochets, if you'd like to go back to that video and check out those links, they're very super simple. Um, the one link or the one tutorial that I followed, it gave um, directions to make three different sizes of dishcloths. And the smallest one, you just start out with a chain of 15 so it's super small it could be like a face scrubby or <clears throat> just something tiny that you can get into little um like spaces when if you're cleaning something and so i thought that that would be a nice little thing to have on hand so i actually made several more of those because they're super quick they take like 10 minutes to whip up um, so i did make four of those different size dishcloths this month um, for my jewelry um i did make 10 projects um, I made five for the jewelry collab that I'm in. Um, we had like fall and, um, I think they were like oranges, browns, um, different and greens, like different colors that are good for fall. And I made some different pieces of jewelry and the items that had like candy corn beads and just a lot of oranges and really earthy collars that were pretty so you can go check out my jewelry collab video for that which was posted on the 18th of september and then i have not shown the other projects that i made i made five eraser charms that are halloween because i'm going to be putting them into a halloween swap that i'm doing and so um i will show those charms when i show the entire um swap like well, all the items that i'm sending to my partner um, for cross stitch <clears throat> my goal is to try to do three hours per week of stitching and last month i only had like okay it's not wanting to focus very well i did have a finish but i don't think i worked very long it was like 30 minutes um so i did actually get eight and a half hours for september i'll show here in a minute in my notebook that the last like four or five days of September, I basically, all I did was work on cross stitch. I got the stitchy bug took over and that's all I wanted to do. Um, and for kill for paper pads for the year, um, you can see I have really been knocking them out here. Um, September, I did actually finish up with two of the pads that I was working on. Um, I did not have any completed pads for August when I did my recap. But um, I finished one up real quickly into September and then I finished another one that I started and finished really quickly within like four or five days. And currently I am working on two different six by six pads. I'm working on two because I started a Halloween six by six pad to be able to make projects for um, different swaps that I'm doing. And for the kill uh, four card kits per year, I did get one done back in May when I did a Christmas card kit for my um, 10 on the 10th Christmas card collab. And I have not pulled out any other Christmas or any other card kits, which I have a ton of different card kits that I've gotten throughout the years um, from like Close to My Heart, Stampin' Up, SEI. I was um, subscribed to their club for a while this was back in like 2012 or 13 um i was subscribed for a while back in 2012 i think 11 12 13 somewhere around that time to the simon says stamp club and i also have um different kits from queen and co which are like shaker kits i have different and um annie what's her name oh shoot i get a lot of her card kits from ann griffin oh my gosh i'm going <laughs> brain brain dead right now uh, i think it's oh gosh i get a lot of these card kits from anytime i go to um tuesday morning i've gotten some of her card kits up there and right now my brain is not working they sell a lot of her stuff on i think it's hsm <laughs> i can't think of her name right now but i have a lot of card kits that i need to be using that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> Um, for my Christmas cards, my 10 on the 10th um, collab that I do each month, 
I actually only did six cards for September because I followed the um, sheet load of cards by Call Me Crafty Owl. And that tutorial made six cards if you followed the instructions that she gave you. And so I did six. And I usually get at least the ten. A lot, sometimes I do more. So I'm still okay with having just six because I'm well above my goal here. Um, for 30, I did have this start at the beginning of the year. I had five for five greeting cards per month. Well, I was doing so well that I upped it to 30 around June. And then, as you can see, I kind of bottomed out a little bit. But now, I actually, when I was going back and counting up my cards for um, to complete this notebook, I had 47 different size cards between my 3x3 three by, three by three note cards and my... A2 cards <clears throat> and different uh, collabs and swaps that I've been doing and just using up all these paper pads for my Smash That Small Paper Pad collab, I was actually able to get 47 cards, which is unbelievable because I don't remember making 47 cards, but they were all written down, so I'm assuming that number is correct. Um, for a rack or happy mail every three months, um, I did do one in September. Um, one of my friends on Facebook also has a YouTube video. So if you're watching, Mike, hi, hope you're doing good. Um, I did send them a um, little goodie box uh, for his um, son, Logan, who does a snack review every Wednesday. Um, the, his channel is called Life with Mike, if you're all interested in watching his um, videos. He does practically everything. Um, just a lot of great video content. Um, and so I did send him some goodies for that snack review that they do every week um for organizing in my crafty stash i actually had the first and the second day of september i worked about three hours each night in my craft room and then there was another day that i had written down in my notebook i can't remember what day it was i worked four hours in i think my craft room as well um so i did get 10 hours of organizing and cleaning um, so that is good because i really needed it um, I did not make any albums or folios for this month, but I do need to make an album for that, for a, a good size Halloween swap that I am in. And that's the swap that those Halloween eraser charms are for. So I will be doing some kind of album um, really soon. Um, so I will have at least one that will be adding onto this list when I do my next update. ATCs, I have a goal of five each month, and I actually got 20, so that was a good number. Um, for videos, like I said, I always get, um, well, here lately, because I picked up a new collab in June, or was it July? I can't remember. It was the, um, a man all man card collab, and so I do have like 11 collabs that I'm in, so I did just get the 11 videos for the month. Um, two channel giveaways. I have not done any since back in May, but I do have something up my sleeve coming up soon. And, um, to participate, like I said, um, I want to try to get involved in, like, send people stuff for their, um, birthday or subby giveaway challenges that they do just to help support them. And I've really been slacking. I really I keep telling myself every month, get on that. <laughs> but it never seems to happen. So I will go real fast and just kind of walk through my <clears throat> notebook here. Um, as I was saying, in, as I said in my last video when I did my update for August, I kind of quit doing my uh, where I was updating every day as I was creating stuff and I thought I would just kind of fly by the seat of my pants and just kind of wait till the end of the month and then just try to write down everything I made well that was really a big pain it was um really difficult trying to remember everything that I did and so I decided to go back to my daily um updates so here and I kind of there was a few days that I would skip I would forget to write down so I'd have to kind of go back and try to remember but at least it's easier trying to remember over just two or three days than trying to remember over the entire month what I did because you can see here I broke it down as far as what I did for my jewelry that I made throughout the month I did get a lot of jewelry made in August though that was quite a list there 
and then for my swaps I wrote down the different projects that I created and then the different collabs I wrote down the projects that I made and that was kind of how I had to go and go that's kind of what I had to go off of so it was much easier when I keep track of it daily and then I just go back at the end of the month and tally up everything so as you see here um, for September on the first and the second I did organize and clean in my craft room for six hours those two nights um, also on the first I created an altered CD for a swap and the third I did some crochet and cross stitching on the fourth I made some Halloween tags for a swap um, I did a Halloween card. I went ahead and I needed to do a card for a swap. And I knew that I was going to need a Halloween card for a collab on the 30th. Um, because on the last day of each month is the Great American Stash Bash collab. Where we post a card um, according to whatever the monthly theme is. And the theme for September is Halloween. So I made the card on the 4th and I went ahead and filmed the video somewhere it has it down here on the 8th i actually filmed my video and then i just uploaded it and i scheduled it to go on to to be public on the 30th so that was actually well ahead <laughs> i was actually impressed that i was so far ahead on that one collab normally i'm scrambling to get it together and and get it uploaded the night before and hoping that i don't have any issues with it uploading and so I also filmed my goals update video on the 4th because the next day on the 5th was when that video went up. On the 5th, I did slimline cards for my Christmas 10 on the 10th collab and then also made some fall ones because I had a really pretty paper pad that I wanted to use and I thought it would be just be perfect um, paper and I wanted to try it out with the slimline cards. And I think I showed those in, um, yes, I believe I showed those in my card collab with my friend Katie that we do the third Sunday of every month. It was the theme of Harvest. And so if you go back and check out my card collab video, you can see my slimline um, fall cards. On the 6th, I was busy, busy, busy. I made eight circle embellishments for my embellishments on the 11th collab. I made eight three by three note cards and two or yeah two A2 cards and this finished off my six by eight paper pad that I was working on that I had gotten from Joann's. I did some more cleaning and organizing in my craft room for four hours. I made an envelope for one of the slimline cards that I made up here that was that I had sent out for a swap. And then I made nine three by four envelopes. Um, because those are always great to have on hand with just to have for they can fit ATCs they can fit gift cards and so I just try to make um, those three by four envelopes whenever I have extra six by six papers laying around and I'm not sure what paper I used to make this because I did not say if I started a new pad after I finished that one so I will have to go and look in the back where I write everything down that I make with each paper pad um, on the 7th, I made 9 more A2 cards, I made 8 3 by 4 note cards, and 8 ATCs. And those I, with those 8 ATCs, I finished off this 6x6 six six, um, early bird paper pad. And then I did a pink mini pocket letter for a swap, and that's, um, I pulled out the 6x6 the six six authentic pad called Flawless, and that's when I started working with that. Um, then I did several videos on the 8th. On the 9th, I worked on some more crochet, and I made a pink card for my swap. And on the 10th, that was my birthday, and so me and my mom and my daughter all went up to um, the mall that we go to. It's got Michael's, and um, there's like a Target, and the bookstore, and just, it's about 35 minutes from our house. We don't go there too often. But we like to go there every now and then. And there is a scrapbook store in the same area. It's not at the mall, but it's about five minutes from the mall. And so I spent lots of money, as I put down here. But I was happy with that. I was okay, because it was having fun for my birthday. So, no big deal. But that evening, I finished up um, the cro the dishcloth that I was had um, made for the swap. And I that's where I made the first of my little mini ones that I did 
included in the swap as well. I made five purple embellishments. And actually, this is where I messed up. Okay, so back here, I wrote down that I made eight fall circle embellishments that I put here in parentheses for embellishments on the 11th. Well, I guess I had forgotten about that because I made them back here on the 6th. And then when I get up here to the 10th, which is the day before the collab is supposed to go up, I was thinking I hadn't made anything. So I scrambled and I put five embellishments together with some a bunch of purple supplies that I had gotten from a crafty friend. And so I actually uploaded these purple embellishments. So I've still got those fall embellishments that I will be showing. I'll go ahead and film for the 11th of October. And I guess that's kind of good because, you know, fall is has already started at the end of September. So, you know, I have fall embellishments for October, which I completely forgot about having those embellishments made. I thought, okay, I've got this made ahead of time. That'll be good. I don't have to worry about it. And then I forget about it. <laughs> and I made more. So, <clears throat> I already have my embellishments made for the October collab, which is great. And so on the 10th, I did film that video. On the 11th, I made five A2 cards. I made four more 3x3 cards with envelopes to match them and two ATCs. On the 12th, I did seven ATCs, seven circle embellishments that I sent in for with the pink swap that I was doing. And then I had a bunch of scraps um, that I made another A2 card with. And I did two more of those little tiny dishcloths for crochet. On the 13th and the 14th, I completed a cat pocket letter for a swap. The 15th I, is when I made those Halloween eraser charms. There were five of them. The next day on the 16th, I made my jewelry pieces for the uh, jewelry collab on the 18th. And I filmed the jewelry collab on the night of the 17th. And over here, I kind of skipped a few days. Um, the 20th, I filmed my card collab. And I actually filmed the video because I completely forgot about... I should have filmed it the 19th because the 20th is when it had to go up. So it was up later that day. Um, so I got that video filmed and uploaded. And then I did my two mustache cards for the Man on Man card collab, which goes up on the 21st. On the 22nd, I started working on um, some altered dominoes for a swap. Uh, well, three of them were for a swap. And I started, uh, that's where I broke out my 6x6 six six Pinkaboo uh, paper pad. It's a Halloween pad in pinks and purples, real pretty. It's from Recollections. And I've seen um, Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts and at least one or two other people on YouTube that have been using the 12x12 12 12 in the Pinkaboo. I did not see that. I think it might have been last year. I don't think it, I think I heard someone say it was released last year, maybe. But I picked up this six by six pad when we were there back on the tenth for my birthday. Um, I got that from Michaels that day, and I did not see any twelve by twelve of the like the hot buy pads or anything like that that were Halloween or fall even. Um, they were, had all Christmas pads out. And so I just picked up one Christmas pad that day when we were at Michael's. Because it, it was real pretty. It had like pastel colors. I cannot wait to start using that one. So maybe I'll use that pad when I do my 10 on the 10th for October. Um, the 23rd, I finished up the three dominoes that I needed for the swap. And I filmed my embellishments. No, that's not correct. <laughs> I did not film embellishments on the 11th on the 23rd. I don't know what I was doing there. I must have. Oh, I know what I did. I filmed my smash that small paper pad. That's what it had to have been because that goes up on the 25th. Yep, I put the wrong collab down there. <laughs> so that should be smash that small paper pad. On the 24th, I made a farm themed mini pocket letter for a swap. And I did three ATC coins, which are two and a half inch um, circles instead of being like two and a half inch by three and a half inch rectangles, like the normal size ATC. Um, the coins are just two and a half inches in like in a circle form. And so I used my Pinkaboo paper for that. And those went out in a swap. So I do not have those to show. Um, the 25th, I did 12 happy birthday embellishments for um, my sticker collab that go went up on the 27th. I filmed my Pinspiration collab on the 25th, 
that went up on the 26th. And on the 26th is where I filmed my sticker collab to sh um, for the embellishments that I made. And that went up on the 27th. So I've get been getting a lot better about trying to get my videos done a day or two. I've been trying to get them done if I can two or two days early. Just in case I have any trouble with it um, uploading. And... Um, most for the most part i've been able to to do you know to take care of getting that done early and then on the 30th actually the 27th through the 30th right here is where i got on a cross stitch kick and that's that's all i wanted to do those those um four nights and then on the 30th i made a one page mini pocket card for a swap that i um had to send out so that is my month of September. As you can see, I did much better at keeping track of everything by going ahead and trying to write it down on a daily basis. I didn't quite get everything written down daily, but for the most part, I was able to get it to keep up with it. And real quick, I will just show my how I keep track of my paper pads that I use up. Um, when I start a pad, I write down the date that I start it and what it is. And then I put down the ending date for when I create the last project with it. And then each time I make something, I write it down on my list. So for the month of September, I did finish this pad on the 6th, which was my 6x8 pad from Joann's. Um, this pad I started August 11th and I finished up the 7th. That was my early bird pad. And then on the 7th, I started my Authentique Flawless. And actually, I finished that on the 12th. So I should change that number to 3 for the number of paper pads that I have killed. And then I started the Pinkaboo on the 22nd. So that is my update. Sorry it was so long and rambly. Um, but I actually knew what I did this month for a change. So last month, I was kind of guessing. Um, so, and here is real quick, here's what my September collab calendar looked like, my video slash collab calendar. Hopefully in October I have a little bit more, um, videos that I do. Like I said, I have a list of about four different videos that I'm needing to record. So thank you so much everyone for sitting through this and seeing what all my, um, my goals and projects and everything is that I accomplished in September and I will see you all the next time. Take care everyone. Goodbye.